that Mr. James has snuck another vacuum into the queue of things to be refurbished because he bought one and asked if he could just have it posted straight to me so I could do it and he only has to come once because obviously he's got to drive out to see me there's no point in me going here's your two and then he goes great here's this one I'm going to book a whole day off work to come and see me so it does make sense we have another unboxing Woo. Yes, hello my vacuum cleaner chums, how are you today? You join me in the angle of interest as we slice the tape on this very small, very compact box. And inside this very small compact box is a machine that I've never actually seen in real life. I've seen them in pictures, I've seen them in brochures. I'm actually so unsure of what it actually is that you all know now from the video title. I don't actually know now, I'm telling you off my head, so obviously I'll do the video titles after all of this. So what have we here? Well we have a bag. It's a cloth bag. Those of you who know your mushrooms will know the style of this bag. It is rather filthy. My goodness, it's been used bagless, crikey. It's also got a very different style bag fill tube, as you can see. I'm going to put that right out of the way for now, because we're going to have to get another, we'll have to get Crap Henry out to have a look at that. So we shall pop that to one side. What else do we have? Well, we have a handle. Yes, very, very familiar style handle, although very, very different. There is no switch on the handle. There is some tape, but it doesn't actually seem to be holding anything together, so I think that's historical. We have a lower handle. Again, a very familiar colour. Let's, and I think that's it. We shall remove the thing from its box and undo the parcel tape. And we shall reveal a Hoover Junior. This is the model that I think has been called a Sprite and it's basically ever such, I think, it's basically a really, really facelifted Hoover Turbo Power. There is the handle bale, here we go, this is a U4, U1412 from March 1991. 400 watts and you can tell just from looking at it that it is a turbo power it has a turbo power activator I would be incredibly surprised if we do not find a turbo power motor inside there are no front wheels all we have is that look it's rather interesting it's also a bit broken because it doesn't have a bumper as such it's just got the plastic shell so it is the cheapest of the cheap of the ones that they did I'll try I've got a brochure shot of it so I'll try and remember to stick it in this video so they are actually I'd imagine quite rare I don't think they sold them for very long Got a very strange handle bail. What I have noticed though is the hood is pretty much off. So before we plug it in and put it together, we shall have a look underneath because I want to see why it's loose and coming off. So let me bring you down 
and we'll have this interesting thing apart. Here we go then. So, underneath, I can see a screw here, but I don't think that's actually part of the hood. I think we've still got to go in, in the usual turbo power way of taking the base plate off, and then we can get to the hood screws. So we shall do that. The screws are all in the same place to turn. I'm going to be comparing this to turbo power or not, because that's basically what it is. And if we lift up the base plate, we can see it's not bad, very dirty. Obviously one piece, whereas on a turbo power, I think this is, looking at it closely, a turbo power base plate, just with this bit, as an additional moulding. Obviously this would have all have been you know, empty. For the wheels we have a genuine Hoover belt. That's good. The activator is dry as anything. But that's fine. We can now see... I think I know why this is used. We can now see the screws for the hood. However... I don't, I, I'm either missing something that I don't want to be missing, or there is another reason why this is not coming off. Ah, there we go. Because it is suffering from, crikey, that's very, very, that's going to need some reinforcement in there, because that's cracked right the way up there and that side but it is suffering from the usual hoover turbo power issue of the snapped screws that's not the end of the world actually because they do go back on okay underneath though this is a turbo power chassis this is a turbo power motor it's just got the switch here and actually looking at that this is just a normal rocker switch although i won't go to town taking it off yet so even the release pedal uses the same design so yes this is just that there's even the headlight holder there so it is a facelifted or an attempt at a facelifted hoover turbo power so we can't fix this here and now, but we can. You can see where they snapped it off. Turbo, I've had a fair few turbo powers do this. There's the ratings plate, look. Still made in Great Britain, so it's a Scottish thing. Oh, you go, made by Hoover. Brackets, 1990 Limited. I've never seen that before. It's a little bit interesting. So all we can do with this, really, is sit it back on and be careful <laughs> ultimately Ooh, oh, there we go. I think it also does clip in at the front but only one clip still exists so that's okay we can work with that it is utterly disgusting the belt is very worn you know, it's a project. You don't buy a project expecting it to already be done. Do you? you buy a refurbished machine for that. Everybody has their preferences. We can work with this. It'll be okay, folks. So we'll put that on. Put this screw on. And this screw. And this screw. And we shall turn it over and undo the handle bail bolt, which actually is sitting right here. So it's got a normal handle bail bolt, just without the whole cover that Turbo Power had, which is a right pain in the bum to do anything, but I've still not bought a flat blade screwdriver. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the whole bolt is the same sort of bolt as 
the uh, normal turbo powers. Ah, oh, that's not a bracket. There is an earthing strap there of some description. So we'll take the bolt out, very standard bolt, and put. Now I don't know how oh, it's that way. So that's the front. So no, wait. They put the. I take this bolt out as well because this is the bottom of the. The wand, I think. The wand, the handle. Hang on. We'll get there in the end. Ooh. It moves, I see. Yes. Oh, that's got to be back down. Hang on, there's a bit inside that's. Ah, <laughs> that piece. This copyright by Hoover. Fair enough. So I'll put that down, then go to drop this in. I can't drop this in from the top. God. This will be to stop it from moving about, I suppose. I don't know, actually. Because that's just moved up and down. I don't know if it's supposed to go in there, but I don't think so, because it sits right down there. So I think it is supposed to go down here. Yeah, that seems to work. So we'll put the front bolt in and the rear. Do it up as best we can. There we go. Now, oh hello. Put the front in. The front, the top bolt. It, it, it. You know what, I've done that the wrong way round because that bolt is too long. So that is interesting. We do have, oh, what pain in the bum, two sides of bolts. I'm going to pause and get the bolts in the right way round and get Crap Henry set up so we can have a look at that disgusting bag. Here we go then. So little Henry is sat there, he's seen what's about to happen and he's not very happy. We need to, oh look, there's the bag slide. That's good. Ugh. I think they have to take these bellows off. Oh, this bellows, the bag fill tube off. I don't know if I should. I don't think I need to. I just try to. We need to unfold the bag inside out. That's the problem with these. They're not bagless cleaners. They're not like the old ones that were. Oh, let's get the worst of this out. Right, that is 
still pretty filthy, but we'll do for the purposes of this video. So we'll need a good wash, so I just want to do it so it actually has a little bit of airflow perhaps and doesn't fully billow out crap. We'll be we turning it on, so that'll do for now. Do it properly when it gets refurbished. Now we need a bag. And if I just come off camera here, I shall acquire a bag. <sighs> From another machine, look, there we go. You'll see that in a second. We'll pop that on there. I don't want to put a new bag in this because obviously it's filthy. So this very lightly used HEPA flow will be fine. Crikey, there's not a great deal of space to put the film tube back in, is there? Ah, there we go. So this now has a bag in it. It's very weird. It is it, so budget. Budget is the word. Now, I don't know how the heck to fit this because there's three prongs there. Got a feeling it will twist on and knock into place. But I don't actually know because I never have one. <laughs> Ah, oh, there we go, it does. So that is now fitted. Oh, missing a bit. Up here, you can see three little holes. And that is where that should go. Possibly, it's not actually fully needed because the bag is supported by the fill tube. And actually, if I could get a little cable tie around there that will hold itself on quite nicely so on this video we are not going to be able to have it 110% spot on but it will be good enough and I think we're ready to plug it in and see if it turns on because I've no idea what position the switch is in so I'll leave you there with that we'll move Henry out the way because we don't need to do any more we'll use heavy sticks as well heavy car and we shall Plug it in. And turn it up. Apart from sounding really dry, that's not too bad. Let's see how good the belt is. It's weird I keep going on here for the, for the switch. It's not, it's down here. I have to say that works really, really well. That is ever so difficult to push. It's also quite annoying because you push it forward and then when you put it back, it lifts itself off and drags itself along. Let's take this deep pile carpet away. Very quickly. No, away. Very quickly. And see what it's like on a bit of a shorter power car because I doubt this machine was really built and designed to be used on thick carpet. That's worked very, that works so much better on the short power carpet. In fact, I've actually also realised that the missing piece is also the top cord hook. Now, before we get too worried, is it in here still? And have I missed it? Hang on. No. Let me check Mr. James if it was 
sold with a top cord hook or not, if it wasn't, um, not, it's obviously a round job because I can see a circle, there we go, I can see a circle on the handle, yeah, so, because there's a lower cord hook there, it's fixed, but it's a lower, so obviously you wrap it up, like so. But you can't do at the minute because there is no upper cord hook. Hey ho, but it works very well indeed. What it also means I can do, and this is in the next room, I keep meaning to box it up and post it to somebody, is we can compare it to its turbo power sister. Now they both say actually junior on it, they both say brushed edge cleaning, in fact they're almost identical apart from the lack of height control. Now I think this one would have come first, this is from U1426, they have a 1412, yeah it's different 1995, so this one's older. I honestly tried this, realised it wasn't very good and just went straight back to the normal turbo power style and gave up. I'm sure this was also in a Sprite. I could be wrong. The bags have, in fact, the bag on this one's much more faded than this one, so that's a good thing. This bag is very good. Have exactly the same style on them. They are matching in almost every way, but don't care about that one, that one needs to go. This was the subject of our video, oh the wheels, I forgot to tell you about the wheels, they are annoying in that those are the hammer on tabs I think, so we have a standard axle because there's the inner bit, I don't think I'll be able to take the wheels off though, I think we've got to leave the wheels on forever more, see that hood moving around. So a fair project indeed. One that won't be too difficult, I'll be honest. Perhaps I don't like to blow my own trumpet, it won't be very hard because it is just a turbo power. But it should look much better. It's not going to be mint unless Mr James can find me a top cord hook. I can just about bodge the bag but I can't do anything about this. So, there we go, but that's the end of this video. Let's all first look at this Hoover Junior. What's the turbo power? This is a Hoover Junior. No, 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 nothing turbo power about this, sir. And I will find a way to wrap this cable up and see you soon. Thank you very much for, oh. Fine, yeah, well, I was gonna take that off anyway. It's fine. I and this Hoover Junior will see you soon. Bye bye.